What's up virtual gamers? My name is Josh13. Now, let's do this. It's good to see you alive agent. That means you survived the first part of I expect you to die. As the thumbnail describes, this is a review about I expect you to die too. Called the spy and the liar. I expect you to die too is an escape room puzzle game where trial and error is key to solve the puzzles. In other words, you will die. Consider liking and subscribing to my channel for more reviews and more. And of course, let me know down in the comments what you think about the game. Let's start a conversation. Just like the first part, you play as a spy with the codename Phoenix, with your agent handler to guide you through the story. You're in search of John Jupiter, a highly trained actor with a technique called the mask, which he has built for each new role he takes on. The game continues where it left off, where the first part ended, but most sequels do, but they proved a lot on the first game. For example, they downgraded the time-based puzzle games, what's a good thing in my opinion. The levels are more spacious than the first one in the series, but it gives you more immersion, except for the menu. You live in a small van, but I didn't really like. This means there are less things to play with in the game. You have six levels to explore, and the puzzles are fun. I had great fun playing this game. The thing they do well is not repeating the puzzles, so you're always looking for a new way to move forward. The difficulty is well balanced. They're not hard and not easy. It's a good struggle. The thing they did not approve upon is the length of the game. It's still a short game to play. They could increase the amount of levels. In the first part, they had an update for another level. Let's hope they do the same with this one. Graphics. The graphics are the same as the first part, but they did extremely well. I'm glad they did not change this. The game really pops. Controls. The controls are the same as part one. Don't fix it if it ain't broken. A quick recap. While you're sitting in the same spot, you can still reach far away objects. You can grab objects from a distance and move them closer or further away from you. Because of the telekinetic powers you have. I'm such a fan. His performance in Marigolds of Forever was so... Excuse me. Let's get you undercover so we can figure out what Zoraxis is up to. Sound. They improved the sound for the first part of I Expect You to Die. John Jupiter is played by Will Whedon, what makes the game of higher class. The intro song is done by Puddles the Pity Party, with his unique theatric voice, what's really well fitted in the game. Heck, he could sing the next James Bond team. There's more dialogue in this game this time around, that drives the story and your mission forward. I would give this game a 9 out of 10. I'm still hoping for a part 3, but I'm guessing that's in the far future. A part of me likes it where you can move around freely in a room, but I'm okay if they leave it like this. Like the first one, it's fun to put friends and family into the game and see them struggle. So I can recommend this game if you haven't played it yet. I know I'm very late to the game, but I'm still practicing making YouTube videos, practicing for the PlayStation VR 2 and getting used to hearing my own voice back in videos. If you enjoyed this video or it was of any help, leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to have a conversation, leave a message in the comments. Thank you for gamers willing to do so.